All right, everybody, what is up? This is day five of the challenge against my crew to race to 1K total level on a hardcore Iron Man. We are currently sitting at 785 total level, which is uh, pretty far behind. We ended about 80 levels behind my crew yesterday, but my crew managed to get up to, I think he's like 23 levels away from 1,000 uh, going into day six. So we have one day to catch up. Chances are it's going to be a loss, but... If I can at least get kind of close, like if I can stay under that 100 total level mark, I will be super proud of myself. I've learned so much about the game, so much about making videos. It's been a fantastic experience, the entire thing. I want to thank everybody for coming and subscribing to the channel, following my Twitch channel, watching the videos, all that kind of stuff. I hope you guys stick around for the content I have in the future. It's going to be a lot of fun. This challenge was a lot of fun and everything in the future is going to be a lot of fun. So I really hope you guys stick around. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this so far. Even if it does end up being a loss, I hope you'll stay being Team Goon. But we're about to get in the stream. We have about five minutes until we start. So just give me uh, a few minutes and then we'll get into everything. So thank you guys again. Hope you guys enjoy. And I will see you guys soon. Uno momento until we can start. We're going to be focusing on, again, like I said, Dungeoneering, uh, Slayer, Fletching, Summoning, Farming, maybe some Fishing for Food, maybe some Hunter. We probably should do some Hunter. And then uh, some combat stuff along with Slayer. And then if we have time, maybe some runecrafting. It's a lot of training, but we can get through these levels pretty fast, hopefully. We're just going to have to see how it goes. It's almost time to start. Uh, we're going to start out with some Dungeoneering, though. On our way to the dungeons, dude. So, we got some Dungeoneering levels. We're up to 24. We got 14 in, in an hour, honestly. But we did get this, this shooting star. We got there first, so we got a nice, like, 2900 XP. So we're up to level 40 mining now, 24 dungeoneering, 804 total. We have a total of about four hours about left. So I think we can get some good levels and some other stuff as well. It was speeding up a little bit. So I might go back just for some quick, a uh, couple more levels and then head to something like Slayer since it's only level 12. And we might check on doing some farming as well, even though we can't get a ton of XP in that because we don't have player own farms. And that's kind of one of the things that ruined us here going into the uh, subsequent days, but... It's all right. We're just trying to see how far we can get now, which is perfectly fine. We just got to keep going, see how fast we can do this. Hopefully get somewhere pretty, pretty decent by the end of this. So yeah, let's head to Falador and get this cash, dude. Get this cash money. Probably Hop Worlds as well. Yay, people are waiting. We literally need one more level as well to get these uh, confused ones. After that cash, we got to 46. We got two levels. That's pretty good. We're going to run to another star. That we have a, a tip on. Hopefully we can get there. Um, it may have been touched, but we're going to find out. If not, we have another one. So we could get some XP from that one as well. And if both of them have, then we'll maybe just sit there while we think of something else to do. But what we'll probably do is something like uh, more Dungeoneering, like I was saying. Or something like uh, um, Hunter, Slayer, Fletching. One of those things. As well as maybe hit up some farms for... Uh, some compost XP. So here's the star. We're going to find out if it has a tag or not. It did not. That's 3k right there. Another level in mining. You'll love to see it. Let's just see here. The next one, we can go get another one actually. So let's actually do that right now. Let's not even bother waiting to get XP here because this next one will give us a level as long as we get there first. So let's test it. Oh, there it is. Okay. So we got the star. Are we going to be the first ones? If we are, we're going to get that, uh, Fat XP drop, we'll get another level as well. That's 43 mining, nice, dude. We'll stick here for a little bit, and then we will, uh... Probably do... Yeah, we'll go back to Dungeoneering. Because we'll grab a ring from the bank, and then head there. We might as well just do that now, because we're 4k away. Unless we find another star at some point, then we'll hop there. But, uh... With the, uh... Amount of XP we have, there's not really a point in waiting when we're not going to get a level. We could get a couple levels in Dungeoneering before we could get... That level in Mining. So let's actually, we don't need to go to the bank. We have it in our inventory. Okay, so 820, 34 Dungeoneering, 39 Agility, 43 Mining. Uh, we have another three hours. We're going to go do a Nummy Forest, and I think after that we should do either Hunter or Slayer. It's going to depend on depend on which one we want to do first. Or we could do Agility. What do we need for the, the catches for Hunter? Is it 41 or 4? It's 42. And we need 27 Hunter, so we're not going to do that right now. Um... We'll probably do Nummy Forest, and then if we get some farming that runs from that, we could do some farming on top of that, plus some Slayer, maybe? We'll have to wait and see. 
The good thing about this cache is we're level 45 plus now, so we can do the confused creses and we can do the uh, the larger jars. So this will be a faster 100 points. And hopefully we won't waste as much time in here so we can go and grab some extra levels and some other stuff while uh, the cache is still going on. So we can get, get out of it a little bit early. Go do Nummy Forest and then get into some more stuff without uh, spending as much time in the cache. Yeah, since we have five minutes, we actually have a... Uh, a daily challenge to plant one hammerstone seed for farming XP. So we're going to go do that. And then we're also going to see if we can uh, maybe get started on some other stuff. Like uh, we have to pickpocket some Alcarid warriors, I believe. So we could start with that. If not that, then we just go do some more choppity chop and, and fletchy fletch at, uh, at the cast entrance. I don't know how many we need to plant. I think it said one. So hopefully we, can only, have to, we only have to do one. Let's go to... Uh, I know Yanil has a hops pl place, so let's go to Yanil real quick. I think Blumbridge does too, but I don't know where it is, so I'm just going to go straight to Yanil because I know exactly where that one is. So yeah, we got that challenge done. We're not going to turn it in yet, but we're going to go to the cache because we don't want to be late. And then we'll go turn it in, then do Nemi Forest, and then uh, do... I think we're going to do some Slayer. I think Slayer's a good choice. Yeah, I think Slayer's a good choice for now. And a solid 100 points, so let's leave. Get gone. We saved another... Th we saved like three minutes there, not bad. And we up to 48, 48 divination, dude. That gave us 46 to 48. And we can also get still, we can go one more time if we want to for not many, not there. Here we go. You see caches. Uh, maybe it's not worth it. It's only 12 points. That won't get us. Yeah, that won't get us a level. So um, we'll probably stay with that for now and then head to uh, do the rest of our challenges. But let's go to... Uh, Turn this in, and then we'll go do Nemi Forest. Then we'll come back and maybe do the thieving daily, depending on how uh, how many times we fail it or how often we fail the uh, the pickpockets. If it seems like it's going to be a waste, then we won't bother. For now, let's just turn this in and see what we get. So we get 103 XP. Not worth really. I mean, it was just one seed. And it was before a cash and after a cash. So it's not too bad. Let's do. Um, what can we do for Hunter right now? We can't even do box traps, can we? No, we can't. We need 27 for that. Oof, um, what is the best hunter right now? Is it still Tropical Wagtails? I don't know if that's worth it. Oh, big chin though. We can get ourselves a big old chin in 30 minutes, right? Yeah, 20 minutes until big chin. So until then, how could we forget about the big old chin, dude? Exactly. Uh, let's see. Let's just do, we could do our summoning runs or let's go work on Slayer. Actually, let's go work on Slayers. Evil Willow. Oh, never mind. I guess we're doing an Evil Willow. Let's head to Artie and do uh, this evil tree. Then once we're through with the evil tree, or at least close to it, we'll do the Nemi Forest, which we still have to do. But that's not really... There's no delay on that, but we also have to do Big Chin. So if we do Big Chin first and then Nemi Forest. Keep putting off this Nemi Forest. I don't want to, like, lose out on it, but we'll see what we can do. So you we're already exactly 100 levels behind Micros, so we can catch up a little bit because we still have a little bit under three hours to go so we'll probably get to around i'd say mid to high eights and i'd say that's pretty respectful as long as we get to 900 by the end of day the next day i will be super happy which i'm pretty sure we will no matter what so it should be okay so i'm happy with the way things are going even if we don't win i'll be happy because we held our own against a runescape honestly legend so i'm okay with that i'm okay with it even if it's a lose, a loss rather, and we still have to uh, do the quest, it's still better than like losing by like 300 or something like that. Considering this is my first Iron Man ever, and I don't have any maxed accounts, I only have maybe 399s ever on any accounts, and I only just started streaming and making content on RuneScape like three months ago, I'd, I'd, I'd write this one up as a, as a success for us even if we did lose. So I'm okay with it so far. There's still the chance Micro could just die, which would be amazing, or for some reason get caught up and be really slow. But chances are he's literally only 27 levels away. He may get it within a couple hours of the next day, which we'll probably get close. Honestly, we'll probably get close. I'd say we'll probably get to like mid nines if we're lucky. We'll just have to wait and see how it goes. So we got 39 woodcutting from that. So now we're going to go do Big Chin to hopefully get some f uh, Hunter levels. Then once we level up our Hunter a little bit, we'll probably do some Slayer. Just because it's the lowest one that we can still get relatively quick levels in. Uh, as, as well as Fletching. 
Farming and summoning might be kind of lost causes depending on what we can work on them with just because we didn't really prepare for our farming in the beginning as well as we should have because we messed up on like the first day and didn't close our compost and then that just kind of spiraled to the rest of the days. Let's just go to Big Chin and get this over with. So we grabbed 28 Hunter from 22, I think, or 24 or something like that. So uh, let's just climb quickly here and we'll, we might grab that next... Uh, chin as well if we have time because this is actually getting pretty decent for XP because we can get points relatively fast So what we're gonna do now is I might I might kill these guys actually <laughs> I might kill these guys for that uh, I have another challenge to kill level 40s or above and I think those guys are actually slayer right here black bears I have a slayer task for bears. Let's kill them. Let's get some slayer done But let's get the slayer done and then Nemi and then the next uh, uh, Big chin will do but for now, Slayer, so let's get it done. So that task is done. Uh, we got a Slayer level out of it. It was just a task from uh, the guy in Taverly though, so we just had to get it done with. But now we're gonna go grab one from Vanica and hopefully it's something better so we can actually do some stuff here. After we get this task though, we're gonna head to Nemi just to um, get that done and over with and then we'll finish the Slayer task. We just want to get Nemi so we can get the free XP before we forget, honestly. But uh, as we are getting a couple levels here, we're not doing too bad. 49 magic, 15 slayer, 37 uh, HP. We've got about two hours left. We're going to do another big chin once the time comes around. So in another, like, uh, what do you think? Like, how much time is that? 19 minutes? We're going to head over and do another big chin for some more hunter levels. Then after that, we'll probably come back, finish this task, and then maybe do... Fletching maybe focus on farming a little bit We'll have to wait and see it kind of depends on how things line up because we still have to do Nemi. We'll probably do Ooh, okay, so we'll probably do Big chin then Nemi then task and then something like uh, Fletching or f farming or summoning we'll probably do The task and then go do some farming in any way we can so like compost and stuff like that set up for tomorrow's farming and then we'll work on uh, stuff like summoning and fletching just to kind of get some levels in it and do the resource dungeons because we have to do that. Can we actually get into this one? I might test that out pretty soon here. So we are done with Slayer training for now. We're going to go to Big Chin because we're actually a minute late already. So let's head to um, where's the closest tree here? Let's just go to Artie and then run to Big Chin. And then from there, we will go to we'll do Big Chin and then we'll come out, do Nemi Forest. And then we can turn in another daily challenge and finish our uh, current task. But first, like I said, let's go do Big Chin. So we actually just found out we can do yellows, which is amazing because that's going to speed up the XP even more. And hopefully we can get some more levels from it. Eventually we'll do greens, but for now we can stick with yellows and oranges and reds and the shaky trees to hopefully get a nice drop of XP and levels. We've still got 17 minutes in here. We did get here a little bit late, but we're doing all right. Finished that, and we got 33 Hunter from 28, so that's another five levels. That's actually pretty good. So now, let's go do Nemi Forest with the time we have. Um, so let's go to Alcarid. Let's bring up the guide for Nemi Forest, and then we'll get right on that. Okay, so from that Nemi, we got 36 Engineering, 36 Prayer, 12 Farming, and I think that's it. As far as I know, so we're gonna head out and go do, we're gonna go finish this task and maybe hop around and get some more of the Dungeoneering Resource Dungeons we can. I think we might be able to get one more. And I think it's the Karamja Lesser Demon one, but let's go finish our task first and then we'll head over to do that. So let's head to Edgeville and get her done. Chop as many oak logs as possible for the next half an hour to gather up a bunch for both fletching and construction. And then tomorrow we'll do caches, Big Chin, Fletching Construction, maybe some farming if we can get, uh, ooh, maybe I should do, I should do some compost runs first, and then we'll do some chopping for logs, then we'll do Fletching Construction, and then tomorrow we'll do Cash's Big Chin, Big Chin, farming, maybe some more Dungeoneering, and then, uh, we'll get that range level, maybe get some, maybe not some melee levels, do fishing for food, because we're going to need it for Slayer, and then we'll also maybe do a couple summoning runs, but it's, uh, sadly, the, the best thing I think we can do right now is just, we go to familiars, we can do spirit spiders, 
But I have no idea how to get a spider carcass, which is going to be the tough part. So we'll probably just stick to the chickens for now. Get some XP if we can. But um, unless we figure out how to get spider carcasses. Yeah, after we finish this task, it's going to be chopping logs and making sure all the compost bins are closed and filled. So we can use those tomorrow to get some farming levels on top of Nemi and everything. But yeah, tomorrow it's just seeing how close we can get. Hopefully we can get up to 900. That's my goal, honestly. And if we can, I'll be super happy. If not... That's the way the road, but we tried our best so far, and uh, we're going to try our best all the way through. So let's just see what we can do, and uh, even if we don't, even if Micro beats us to 1k, I'm still going to record the entire journey to 1k and upload them, probably still in daily videos, just to see how long it takes us to get there, and we're still going to try to go as fast as possible to 1k. For now, we have one more of these to kill, and then we're going to hop over and do all that, that compost stuff chop some logs, and then probably, if we get some farming levels, I'll probably talk to you guys before we chop logs. If not, I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Finish farming runs. We get about uh, 18 minutes left, so let's go to Varak and head to south of the Grand Exchange where those oak trees are and work on chopping, chopping, all that kind of stuff. And then we'll uh, probably end it there. We'll see what we can do here. We want to supply ourselves tomorrow for fletching and maybe construction if we get around to it. So hopefully we can do some of that here with these local local trees. Just gotta bank everything in my bank everything in my inventory right now, and then we'll head over there. I'm definitely gonna keep this account after this challenge, just because it how like it's been a lot of fun playing on a hardcore Iron Man or just an Iron Man in general, doing everything from scratch, having risk included in everything you do. Um, I'll probably eventually buy the item, or like, extra lives, and the item that lets you turn back into a normal Iron Man, if you die. For now, though, I definitely want to plan on keeping this account, because it'd be really cool to see if I can get this up to a higher level, get it to Prif eventually, all that kind of stuff. Obviously, for now, that's a far-off goal, but I feel like it'd be really cool to, like, eventually get this to a pretty high level, if not max this eventually. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. So we have one minute left. We're currently 40 wood cutting, and we stocked up some logs for uh, fletching and construction. Total of 860 total level right now. Not going to really get another level before then. But we have some stuff saved up for tomorrow. All of our compost is cooking. We're going to be ready to throw that into some, uh, some allotments to get some XP. Hopefully, I mean, maybe from that and Nemi, we might unlock player on farms, which you can mess with a little bit. What we're going to do is... See how close we get by the time that Micro hits it, because he's at 927. That's all we can do, by the way. That's at five hours. So Micro is going to hit 1000 at a certain point tomorrow during his stream. We're going to see how far we can get and how close we can get by that point during our stream. And then we're going to continue on to see how long it takes us to get 1000. And then I'll turn that into the video or videos rather on this coming most likely this coming Thursday will be when, if I'm going to lose, which I have to get 140 levels tomorrow before Micro gets his 27. So chances are that's not going to happen. But um, if I'm the one that ends up doing the quest, I uh, will be streaming it on Thursday. Because tomorrow is a Tuesday and I generally don't stream on Tuesdays. So I'm going to stream on Tuesday and take the Wednesday off. Do the, the Needle Skips stream on Thursday. I'll record that. And if we don't finish it on Thursday, I'll do the rest on Friday, record that, and then turn that either into one or two videos. Just because it's going to be kind of entertaining. As well as the videos from seeing how long it's going to take us to actually get to a, a thousand total level. Which will probably, it'll probably be tomorrow and then maybe one more day. Just to be, I'm just saying that to be safe, because I don't know if we'll get 140 levels in one more day. We got about a little under 100 today, so we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Uh, we'll probably get some more Slayer levels, some more Dungeoneering levels, construction and fletching, because we stocked up. Maybe some more woodcutting, mining, if we do some of those dailies. Hunter, summoning, farming. We'll get, we have a lot of skills we can get levels in tomorrow, so it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Sadly, I don't know if we can do this, because we have to get 140, he has to get 27, but... We held our own. We did pretty good. We did pretty good. I'm proud of how we did. I just want to hopefully get 40 levels tomorrow to at least end the stream around 900 or at least get to the point where we're at 900 
uh, by the time that he hit a thousand. At least around 900. I'd be okay with like 880, 890, 910 around that area. But yeah, it's been fun. It's been real fun. We're not over yet. We're not over yet. We're still going to see what we can do, improve ourselves. But uh, it has been a lot of fun. It really has.